A federal court judge will decide in the morning if Carl Thompson should be locked up while he awaits his sentencing in a couple months. Thompson left the federal courthouse this morning with his sister for what could be his last night in his own bed for a few years. In a courtroom packed with off-duty police officers, federal prosecutors argue Thompson should be detained because he's a flight risk now that he faces six to eight years in prison. Thompson's attorney told the judge Thompson is an honorable police officer who made one alleged mistake in a long career. One of the factors the court has a right to look at is is this a, a one in the time circumstance? Is it an aberration? And if so, that type of person should not be detained. Oreskovich also told the judge Thompson should remain free because there's a good chance they'll win on appeal. Oreskovich says he plans to argue the judge violated his own ruling that barred evidence of Zem's innocence when the judge allowed prosecutors to present witnesses that testified Zem often bought pop at area zip trips and his last words were, all I wanted was a Snickers bar. The government came in the back door, got in the back door, what they couldn't do through the front door, through the court's ruling. And I think that we were hurt because of that. Oreskovich also told the judge he plans on filing a motion for a new trial based on alleged juror misconduct. Oreskovich said he stayed at the same hotel as five jurors. And one morning, those jurors were eating breakfast in the large room with a television. And a news report came on that called Otto Zem a mentally disabled janitor. Now that information was barred from the trial and Oreskovich said that impacted his client's right to a fair trial. In Spokane, Eric Lonick, KXY4 HD News.